Mike. I'm here with Eric Steele, and the film is called Kiss the Water. Welcome to the Thank festival, you. Eric. Thank you. It's glad to be here. It's a quick drive from my house, so. I know you're a local, and I live in against here. it. Yeah, so. Excellent. With a lot of traffic coming up. Um, there was traffic yesterday. I was in the city yesterday, but um, I know the back road, so I can get from Amagansett yeah, to here in about. Don't four tell and anybody that GPS no. is a killer. I tell you, no. we don't want anyone on Bluff Road. That's the. <laughs> No well, speeding. this documentary, you hear a lot of great things about it. Uh, it's been uh, several other film festivals, but it's uh, we're lucky to have it here at the Hamptons Film Festival, and since you're a local, it's even better. It's doubly delicious, as they say. Can you give uh, our viewers just a thumbnail sketch of, of the movie? And you directed it. I directed it and produced it with a partner. Um, it's... Um, Kiss the Water is a story about this woman, Megan Boyd, who made really the most magical salmon fishing flies ever. And um, All handcrafted. They're all handcrafted. They're like little miniature works of art. They're about the size of your thumb. And, you know, intricate sort of patterns of feather and fur and tinsel. And the strange thing is I'm, I'm not a fisherman, and I've never f fished, and I've never been to Scotland and I don't even eat salmon. And there was something about her story. It was like an invitation to a fairy tale. And so it's not really a movie about fly fishing. I mean, fishing is like a metaphor, you know, for... Well, indeed, these things are art forms, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, it's, and I think it's a vanishing art form, too, which makes it sort of more emotional. I mean, the feathers that she used when she was making making these flies aren't available anymore. The birds are mostly extinct or endangered. Um, and nowadays, people make fishing flies and they like dip their their hooks into super glue and, and attach some like right. plastic tinsel to it. But back in her day, they were it's made like the skill from, of a surgeon to just get yeah. It and the, the pieces were so tiny, and there are so many steps. And it was you know a toucan feather bird and a peacock and. And, you know, all these, I mean, you know, it's like when you think of how many birds are wrapped up into something so tiny, it's like some magical, mythical creature. Right. You wouldn't want to put it at the end of a pocket fisherman, for, right? No. <laughs> and, and the thing is, once you use them, they're not art anymore. You know, like once, you, especially in the water in Scotland is, um, you know, it's sort of like why scotch from Scotland is so good. It really does the water has a lot of flavor to it and a lot of color. It's not like clear blue water like you think of. It's abrasive and caustic, right? Yeah, and it's got a lot of peat in it or or alkaline or acidity and so the colors fade and and uh, you know, you like cast your line back and it gets caught in in a branch and... Are they very uh, expensive uh, to have her lures? Um, you know, back in the day she sold them for a dollar to fishermen for a dollar and nowadays they command, you know, thousands of dollars for their authentic ones. You know, there's probably even a market of, like, forgeries. People just mm -hmm. think, oh, well, I can make one. It looks the same. But real, but the real fishermen who have an eye, they can tell the difference right away. And what got her into this line? I, you know, I'm not exactly sure. I think her father, I think it had something to do with this notion of beauty. Her father gave her a fishing fly when she was very young and and she said wow this is pretty and I think she too liked she learned to make flies by unraveling other people's flies and it, I think it, it was a little bit of a puzzle to her I mean I think she she liked trying to figure out this equation and it really was a you know like a, a respected craft mm -hmm. at that at that point and she just elevated it to art form mm -hmm. There are a couple on the East End that uh, do it. Have you touched base with them at all and what they think of the movie? Or? Um, I haven't really. I, uh, you know, like I said, I'm not really a fisherman and I'm not all that uh -huh. plugged into the, to the world of fishermen, but I hope, like, I hope they come to the movie and introduce themselves. I, uh, I don't think they, they're probably not salmon fly fishermen out here. They, uh, no, they the probably, surf casters. Yeah, the, I mean, I, you know, I, I see the people fishing all the time. I mean, if I go to Montauk or go to Last Point, you see people out there fishing, but it's... Well, there's a brotherhood or sisterhood among mm -hmm. all fishermen, and uh, I hope so. it's terrific. I hope they all come to see the movie. Well, they will. Now, <laughs> do you have a distributor? Um, we're, uh, we're sort of working a kind of a self distribution mm -hmm. model, but we've we've had you know a lot of interest already, and we have a lot of booked um, engagements all around the country okay. in Canada, and okay. um, since we're a 
a station that uh, feeds the East End and Manhattan and mm -hmm. all these other places, and several have checkbooks and they're interested in, uh, in, in finding a good product. Yeah. If they want to get in touch with you, what's the website? Um, www.kiss-the-water.com Dash is hyphen or on the line? Uh, it's a hyphen. Very good. Okay, so once again, it's kiss the water, water. hyphen between each word. Exactly, dot com. com. Yeah. Excellent. And uh, we're very pleased to have you here. Thank it's you. terrific. It's, uh, You're a local guy. And what's your next project? What are you working on um, next? I'm actually working on a on a film about the painter Willem de Kooning. So, but it's uh, sort of in the early stages, and I'm kind of a slow. I take my time and try to do it right. Well, there's a there's an awful lot of, uh, if you shake the trees, there's the Koenig stories of, uh, they're, they're of how he would stories. just uh, get hand a out, uh, hand out hand uh, drawings, for, drawings. For, for a drink. So. Yeah, it's terrific. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very Absolutely. much. Thank you. And again, the movie is Kiss the Water. This is Eric Steele, the director, and uh, go see it. We highly recommend it. Thank you.